Heidi hi, Lauren Risley of The House here and Show, and you'll hear all about that in just a moment, but a little bit of housekeeping just before we get started. Firefight was developed and published by Megalithic Mainframe, released on the 1st of December 2017, and is currently priced on Steam at pence. But enough of all that, let's get to the Let's Play. Hi, welcome to the Halcyon Let's Play. My name's Lorne Rising, I'm going to be host of this episode. This is Firefight. A uh, very quick rundown. Uh, top down platformer, uh, sorry, top down action game slash shooter. As you can see, little teeny tiny fiery guys. Little watery guy. He's compromised picture, maybe, but that's for you and your tortured minds to understand. I'm going to be doing this Let's Play today um, in lieu of a review just because I think you'll see it's not a terrible game, it's just there's not a tremendous amount of depth to it. So let's get into it now, so let's press enter. Let's go as options. Let's get into it. As you can see, kind of a hand-drawn feel, similar to Zorbit's Orbits, albeit not quite to the same quality. There's the little guy. Oh god, that looks even worse than on the picture. So spacebar to uh, shoot water, and they self-regenerate from the left-hand side. Oh, and I took damage there. Mm -hmm. So we've got D up there for some reason, in person. I suppose I better go save them. Took me a lot of damage there. I don't like how they don't come after me. They just shoot you. Surely they would, and they self-regenerate as well. Hmm. Okay. Well, I suppose I better go after that you before I go and save that person. Something that I remembered from my initial play of this game beforehand was um, it didn't make that point clear that you needed to collect the uh, letters first before you go and save the person, which basically is the goal of each level, which is to save the people. Duck, yes. Yep, that's relevant to these fire monsters and this water Pokemon. Anyway, duck, yes, there's, there's no other words unless... Oh, and you can shoot through walls, apparently. Okay, that seems fair, seeing as I can't. That's good. There you go. Okay, fine. Well, let's just, 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 just gloss over that then, shall we? All right, you come with me. I press control. Oh, I've got to drag you, have I? Wonderful. Can I go this way? No. Oh, I've got to go to the exit. So they can shoot me through walls, but I can't. Ugh. Oh well, there you go, I win. Yay, duck! Good for me. Hit two some hits, no hit combo, total score. You must be the hostage, but your search for the doctor's son continues. Who? Okay, so initial impressions of the first level of the game. Uh, the, the controls actually are reasonably smooth. I actually kind of like the fact that you, uh, it's not uh, segmented, i.e. You, you push left once and you move one space over, move right once, move w right one space. It's it, more fluid than that, and I suppose that the fact that they, uh, the enemies can shoot you through the walls, that lends itself a bit more to the dynamicism of the game because you can dodge it if you're paying attention. But in that situation, when you're clicking and dragging at the same time, the concentration is somewhat diminished. So I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, the enemies being able to shoot through the walls. I feel that's a somewhat of an unfair advantage. I mean, as you can see from my health bar, I didn't take a tremendous amount of damage as a result of it, and I have three lives to play with. But I don't know. Um, as for the overall presentation so far, it's rudimental, yes, but it serves its purpose in the sense of it's a simple premise and a simple design. It doesn't need to be an overly complicated design scheme. Um, I don't know, it lacks a little bit of polish and the ideas just feel a little bit undercooked at the moment. Uh, I'm still not sure about the whole collecting letters stuff. I mean, if you're gonna be, surely it should be related to the premise of the game, i.e. firefight, like fireball or blaze or poof or something, I don't know. The point is that it just, that feels like a thrown in idea, but 
I can't say it doesn't feel good. That's something that I criticize a lot of games for is that ergonomically they don't feel good. Uh, this game, the, you can shoot as much as you want, maneuver around as much as you want. It's fine. It's fine. But let's, let's see how we get on with this one. So I'm gonna go and collect duck again, I presume. So again, oh, now he follows me around. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh, and I've got to... That is so frustrating, the fact that you, they can shoot through walls and you can't. And the fact that they self-regenerate as well, what's that about? Like, if you're going to make them self-regenerating, you need to make them one hit. Where's the last one? There you go. And again, duck. Why? Why is it duck? Okay, well we got the duck. Just tanking hits now, just screw it. Alright, now this is the tricky bit. Let's see if... Can I walk through? I can walk through. Oh, look, health! Yay, I don't care about it though, I'm just making my way for the exit. Let's get the hell out of here. Yay! Da -da -da -da. I did take some hits. That's good. That's a good point. Now hit combo. Rest of the hostage was, uh, ho, ho. Just another very small tidbit here. If you're going to have a little um, text montage at the end, a prime example for a game to show its personality. A lot of these indie games that I test have little tidbits and little things that the developer throws in just as, a, as an air of their own personality, be it um, antagonization of the player, uh, encouragement of the player, leaning into the gimmick of the game, whatever the case may be. Two levels both with the same message, which is effectively the Mario message, which uh, may be a homage, I'm not too sure, but when you're playing a game that's meant to be a homage of a game, it should be representative of that game. This is not a platformer, as you can see, it's kind of a maze, top-down, Pac-Man style game. Um, so I, I'm not sure why you would bother putting that there unless you're going to have like a little quip or a joke or a piece of uh, uh, tips and hints as well are absolutely excellent in these indie games where they go, okay, maybe you need to try this or maybe you need to do this. I don't know. It just seems a little bit superfluous, but let's move on to the third level and see if, uh, see if things improve. Same soundtrack over and over again, I've realized now. A little bit disappointing. You like to see... Um, a bit more effort put into the soundtrack of a game when... See, look, look, how is this fair? That's my point. Look, again, make the game fair. I don't mind if you make it hard, but make it fair. If you put me in a situation where they can shoot me from four different angles and I can't shoot them... Not fair, bruh. Not fair. Dick move. Look, even one's cut up, caught up in there. Uh, how do I get there? Yeah, I've got to go all the way around. Also, so far, the mazes ha aren't particularly punishing. I will give the game that. I mean, that's probably the, that would probably be the last straw for me. Is that the mazes were just brutal. Uh, the fact that it seems to place an emphasis on not getting hit, um, I get that that's difficult, considering that you can shoot through walls, but I don't know. Let's have a look, the no-hit combo. Yeah, see, it, it puts a big emphasis on the no-hit combo thing. Actually, the whole is boy. Come on. Let's, let's hope that this is the last stage of this particular one. I'm also not seeing a bonus for collecting the duck. Like, I figured that collecting the letters would be... You'd be rewarded for it? I mean, maybe it's rewarded in the score, maybe, but that's not... You know, it's not meaningful, it's not tangible. You know what I mean? Like, I want, I want something cool for my efforts, like... Uh, m more powerful attacks, uh, weakened enemies, uh, I don't know, uh, a blowjob, something something good, you know, something worth the time and effort that's required to actually do this needless running around and getting shot in the face by fireballs, which by the way look like dilapidated Bart Simpson clones for some reason. Right, come on. I like how the drag mechanic looks a bit like Charlie Brown. Oh great, now I've got to run through, literally run through fire. Oh, that's good. All right, let's just hope I've got enough health to see us through here. I think I will. Boom, done. 
D-U-K No hits, of course not, because this game is a little bit cheap. Let's get the hostage. Come on, how many stages are there in this first? Oh god, it's a boss. Okay, so you gotta charge. Ah, let's see. Oh, hang on. You're damaging my... Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a dick kick of a boss battle, it seems. Come on! Oh, wow, he can... He can chill out at the side. Isn't that lovely? And he can... Uh, yeah. How cheap is this? Yeah, put a boss that can shoot me from any different angle, and I can't shoot him. Unless it's one of these, and even then, he can just decide to move out of the way. Wonderful. The giant fireball, okay, I get that, that's fine. Oh, you're fun. Come back over here, you son of a bitch. Come on. Come on, there you go, take it. Bitch, that's right. He's got a giant moustache, I'm not sure how I feel about that. He's like, he's like, ooh, yeah, I'm the big scary fire monster. And defeated. Why didn't he just use a spam attack that time? No hit combo. Yay, I did take some hits because it's a boss. Of course not. Well, that's the first stage done. Let's go to the green greenhouse. If you were to look at this, it would look like there's five different worlds. So I would imagine 25 levels in total. Oh, here we go, okay. Oh, this is getting a bit more interesting now. Release the beast. Oh, you've got to move in the direction of the levers. Very good, yes, very good. By doing so, you've got to let out all the beasties. I do wish you could just take these out though, man. Like, I wish that they would focus... A game like this, I feel like, when, when the graphics are rudimentary and the gameplay elements are rudimentary, I think you do need to lean more heavily on the puzzle elements. And I'm not a fan of puzzle games, by the way. I'm not a big fan of puzzle games at all. But you got to make it a bit more of a challenge for people who need that. And I, I kind of need it right now, I've got to be honest with you. It, just, it would just make the game a bit more interesting. At the moment, for instance, oh, I forgot to collect all the damn letters, didn't I? Oh well, who cares. Get out of my way. There we go. I think that the, because they're now adding um, a few more of these puzzle, puzzle elements into the game, that would that's going to help it along for the long term. Uh, especially if you can be tactical about how you can utilise them. Uh, I've got to be honest, I'm not even going to bother collecting the letters now, because again, I don't see it being all that important to the gameplay experience. Yes, it might improve your top score, but I... I, I don't care. I don't know if that's a fair thing to say. I, I don't. I, I don't care about the the top score. I really don't. Um, oh, dead end. Oh, silly lawny boy. Come on, let's go. Also, it has to be said, there's not a lot of satisfaction in taking down the enemies. Uh, they just kind of disappear off screen. Not even a little, you know, like a little flourish. You know, like a little poof that you sometimes see. Um, with enemies, uh, even Mario had them being squished for a frame or two, you know, come on. I have not got enough health to survive this, but screw it. Oh no, I do. We do. We're cool. We're cool. Just. I did take some hits. Yeah, let's get on with it. Rescue the hostage, blah, blah, blah. Let's do a few more levels though, because I think you get the gist of this game. Look at all those. Look at them all. It's one of those ones, is it? Ah, screw it. Let's go get the D. <laughs> get the D. You know, this game can get the D. Yeah. Hey, game. How you living? Right. Down you go. 
at all those shots coming out of nowhere. I will give the game some credit. The fact that the water can dispel the fire shots is okay, but again, the fact that they can shoot you through walls and you can't shoot them, it just kind of, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's not fair. It doesn't feel challenging. It just feels cheap. Again, I get it. I get it that it's probably easier to program that, but I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Especially when there's three of them. There we go. Uh, I also think the AI could be programmed a little bit better. I think it would be better if you just made them chase after you instead of what they appear to be doing, which is look ganging up on me for no reason. Let's get out of here. There we go. Yay! I've got all the letters this time. Good for me. Blah. Oh, there's no soundtrack in the menus. Oh well, never mind. All right, well. All progress will be lost as well. You'd love to see that in a game. Oh, no, what do you mean all progress is going to be lost? It says here it continued well too. Oh, must, you must have to start from the first stage again. Whatever. Let's check out some of the high scores. Uh, oh, they're fake ones. Okay, cool. So you don't even have the world. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, maybe the high score does count for something if it's on a world board, but it isn't. Oh, well, never mind. Um, Final thoughts on Firefight. Look, it's a nice little game. Uh, I imagine it's a good for like a little blast from time to time. Um, I just gotta be honest, there's just not enough polish on it for me. Um, considering the nature of the game, I mean, these hand-drawn segments, they've got some character to them. I'm not gonna say that they don't, but they just lack that little bit of quality. The fact that the AI can shoot you through walls is immensely annoying. It's not challenging, It's just it just feels cheap for the sake of making it difficult, for the sake of making it difficult. Your shots can bounce off the walls, which means that you could have made the AI's bounce off the walls. That just feels silly to me. Uh, the boss I faced seemed a little bit simplistic, but then regressed in terms of his tactics in the second one, so it didn't even give me a chance to face it down properly. What does it do well, though? Again, the dynamicism of the movement, I like. Um, the fact that it's not uh, square by square. Uh, the fact that the, the game does have some design flair to it, it's certainly colourful, um, by no means original in terms of its overall design, but it's a simple game. It, it's not trying to be Metal Gear Solid V, it's a, it's a simple game with a simple premise and a simple execution, and it's reasonably fun, albeit with some frustration and some lack of logic in terms of following through with some ideas, like the duck. Why is it a duck? The character isn't a duck and neither is the enemies a duck. The fact that it says, oh yeah, we've got to go find the doctor's daughter or son or child. Like, who? Who is the doctor? Who is that person you reference? Uh, if you want to have a story and narrative in this game, welcome. Um, again, a lot of indie developers I find have great ideas for narratives and designs for games. So add it in, um, or add some more of your personality into the game developer. But that was Firefight. What did you think? Have you played any games like this recently? If so, what are your thoughts on this type of game? Have you played any other indie games recently? I'm going to be playing a lot more of these games in the next few weeks and months, so I hope you'll stay tuned for those and play Let's Plays Like This and reviews coming soon, I promise. Just give me time, give me time! I have a life to lead and apparently something to contend with. I won't say it because it will date the video immediately, but we all know what it is and it's causing us a lot of headaches. In the meantime though, thank you very much for watching this edition of the Halcyon and Let's Play. Please like, share and subscribe and check out some of the other content creators in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. Feel free to go and check me out on Twitch when I finally start to, do, uh, to stream on there. I do sincerely hope you're taking care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next episode of the Halcyon Show.